live on a Saturday afternoon. That's weird. Hey, welcome to our Saturday afternoon thrift haul. We were going to put it up tonight and premiere it, but Zeb has a ton of stuff to do at the farmhouse and we want to hang out with our kids tonight. So we're like, let's just go ahead and go live. And then when people tune in tonight at 830, they will find the live on there and they can enjoy it. Um, if you're new to our channel, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We do live thrift hauls every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time, apparently except for 4th of July. You know, we could have just for, like, foregone it. Foregone, is that a word? Foregone, not done Forego. It. I don't know. We could have just been like, oh, we're not going to do it today because it's no, the 4th of July. But we, love, we love our friends. We, we got to go live. And I got to show off the junk that I purchased this week. Um, everything that we're going to be showing you will eventually wind up in our shop here in Lehigh, Utah. We have a vintage store or on our website, which is at JanuaryVintageHome.com. And also, as always, if you see something that we don't have up on the website, it's new, you can email info at JanuaryVintageHome.com and that's how you get a hold of Caitlin. Odelia is on here responding to comments and taking care of good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up comments here. All right. So Jamie went thrifting yesterday without me. I went with her this morning because the thrift stores are open early today. They all have like different hours. They're closing early because of the fourth. But I went with her today and she's like, you know, I was going to have like a light thrifting week because we got a bunch of uh, stuff that people put on the back porch so they can get their 20% off coupon. And we could have shown that. And then we ended up with like a oh, truck gosh. full of stuff. That there's a spider. <laughs> Where? Right there. Please go take care of it. Is it on don't, the wall? Yeah, don't fight me on it. Just get it. No, I can't even see it. Here, you can borrow my shoe. The chancla. It's right there. I can see it. <laughs> oh, I see it. It's fine. It's just, he's going to eat all of the other little bugs in here. Nope, nope, don't do it. <laughs> all right. That's Deb's laugh he makes when he's annoyed. I'm, that's my laugh I make when I'm not going to do what she wants. It has a big body and it makes me nervous. It's Deb. fine. All right, so skeleton shade lamps. We have a ton of lamps uh, today. We got some that were put on the back porch and some that we thrifted. And s someone brought us a bunch of these really cool shades. This one's kind of oval and we don't have harps for these. So, but you can get harps at like a hardware store. They sell those that so, go on them. I think they're really cute to display hanging from the ceiling. And we actually had somebody, I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was Georgiana or my friend Tanya, because I know they said they were going to drop stuff off, but they brought us a ton of harps. So I want to do a display where they like hang them from the ceiling. So like I have this. an idea in my mind. So I don't know if this one was for a lamp or a lantern. It looks like it's got it's a place cool. to screw it in for that a That one's my favorite. It looks almost like a hot air balloon. Yeah. We sell these for about $12.95 each in the shop. And a lot of times people come in because they have really cool lamps and they just want a skeleton lamp shade. So they do sell really well at that price point. If I was to purchase them, I'd probably pay a couple bucks a piece because it does take a little bit of effort to get all the um, fabric off of them and get all the glue and stuff. So I'm super excited about all of those. I'm going to put these over here. <laughs> we got to make room. Susan says the spider must go. They show up well on white. That is why my whole house is painted white. So I know where all the spiders are. And if you love spiders, I'm sorry. They can live outside. They can't live inside here. All right. So we've got this uh, watering can. It looks like it might be functional. There's a hole in the bottom. I don't know if it'll hold water. It looks like it, it could be oh, for just a core. It is a little broken, but I've had success repairing these with construction adhesive. Okay, we'll try that tonight. We'll see if we can fix it. Um, four ninety nine. <laughs> if we can fix this, I'll sell it for nineteen ninety five. Like, if this we is can't good fix size. that, it has a handle, and I'll just pull this one the rest of the way off. I'll just grinder it off, and we'll oh, paint like it or something. So nineteen ninety five, and we bought it for four ninety five. So it's a good deal. I love big watering cans. It's not exactly old, but it is exactly cool. Yeah, it's just tin. Looks like uh, galvanized, and they they made it look aged. Oh no, we have messed up Liz's Sunday morning. She's like, what am I going to do tomorrow in Scotland? Because she normally catches us Sunday morning because of the time difference. Oh, well, take the But walk. now you get to be on the live chat. Well, hopefully it's not raining and go take a lovely morning stroll. Does it rain a lot in Scotland? <laughs> yeah, rains, Sorry, I have, a, I have a new romper on and the little plastic tabs were hanging out. I don't know if it's a rainy time of year this time of year. I know they get a ton of rain and snow in the winter. In Zeb the loves rain, can you tell? He's like, enjoy it. All right, so like enjoy gonna, your rain. <laughs> that one did not have a price tag on it, so I got it for $1.50 at DI. Originally, it was $21. We'd sell that for about $18.95 in the store. It's a really cute ladder back mini chair. 
Some people buy them for display or for their American Girl dolls. Yeah, these are great for dolls, and a lot of people like to just hang them on walls, or you can sit them on like a top of a dresser and use it as a riser for something else. There's all sorts of uses for these. Anna said she got to go to the thrift store for uh, the first time for suffering for about a month because of the situation. So Anna, I am super excited to hear that you were feeling well enough to go to the thrift store and that you're past the situation. That is awesome. It, it's awesome that your thrift store is even open. We, we, how long was it? Three months before ours opened back Well, before um, DI. The other ones were open. A little bit. Yeah. They were, we had to cross county lines and so we wore, we wore uh, masks. Zeb has a gator that he pulled up. It says like situation on it. I took it a picture situation of mask. Stories. Okay, so rolling pin. This one was from Savers. Usually we pay a dollar or two for these at the DI, but this one was $3.99. But I'm okay with it being $3.99 because the handles are very cool. unique. It's actually, I think it's actually older. It's got that old style paint. We won't paint the handles or anything. We'll give it a good sand on the body and then re-oil it and it'll be good to go. Yeah, and so those sell for $10.95 in our store and require a minimal amount of effort. Normally I have to paint the handles. I may ask $12.95 for that one because it's like legit old. Yeah, because it's just a big dowel through the yeah, center. Yeah, it's cool. I like and it. And usually they'll have like a little bearing thing if they're newer. Yeah, so that one's fun. Rosalinda wants that. So if you want anything that we're showing, just, I know it'll be super helpful, you guys. If you if you hear me say what the price is, when you email Caitlin, say, I want this. Jamie said it cost this. Because sometimes we have to rewatch the whole video because I can't remember. She's like, I don't know. I listed like 150 <laughs> different prices and some stuff similar. So if you email info at jamierayvintagehome.com, just let Caitlin know what you want and what the price is. So I think this was a uh, back porch offering. Yeah, somebody dropped that off. We do get a lot of drop-offs It's lately. just one. We just have one of these. Um, our local thrift stores, you have to schedule appointments to donate. So a lot of people have been bringing stuff here. Yeah, and they've just been dumping it on the back porch. But it's been great because we... And it's awesome. We sell some stuff. We actually do re we do donate some stuff that we can't use, and we have been taking the money and using it for various charitable things. So it has been great. That little um, napkin, probably like three ninety five in the store. It'd be really cute, just like on a side table, because it's just very simple farmhouse design. So this cloche here, I don't know where it was at. It may have been living outside. It's got. Look at the. I don't know if that's the base. It, it come, came. With you know, it. it fits it just perfect. So I'm gonna say yes. I like, love this. See how it like gets all kinds of skinny right there. I think yeah. it's beautiful. So I don't remember how much that is, it was but that $3. would sell for nineteen ninety five in my store. It's got pretty flowers on it. We'll hit it with some vinegar and see if we can get some of this hard yeah. water off. I honestly think it like lived outside, like on a windowsill or something. Yeah. So nineteen ninety five, and we'll clean it up. And how much did I pay for that? Three dollars. Three dollars. So that's a good profit margin and a good deal for somebody because normally those retail just the cloche for about $20 for that size. Yeah. So that one's cool. And this fits down in there. Rosalinda, you like tight. how I say your name? Sure. I could probably say Rosalinda. <laughs> I like to roll my R's, like really any excuse to do that. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what this is, Zeb. I think it's some sort of mold. Or it, serving dish? No, it's a mold. It was two dollars. It looks like acorn squash, but I wonder, like, can you make meatloaf in it and make a acorn squash meatloaf mold? Oh, that is weird. That it's it's got it's handles like on both look sides. How, look how it's riveted here. That was one of my favorite things. Yeah, two dollars for this. It's got the good tarnish on it. Yeah, I would just use it to decorate with for like twelve ninety five. But I think it's got a little handle over here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Know. What would you put in there? Anything? It's a pudding mold, says Charles Rice. Hey, there you go. I don't make pudding, makes me but want, I could figure it out. Makes me want bread pudding. I'm Symbols. Like pudding. <laughs> oh, it's a Christmas pudding mold. Well, for us, it's twelve ninety five. <laughs> I don't. I, just, I like the sound it makes pudding. when I pull it apart. Okay. <laughs> We're realizing that the sound is very exciting for you. Crescent Moon was just guessing. Donna, I was like, Donna knows her stuff. Does Donna, if you guys don't know, sells vintage items on her Etsy store and so she sells dishes and things so I just figured she's the expert or ice cream cake Kai you and I same language there I've had a oatmeal cookie and some Doritos today so ice cream cake would really just fill in all the cracks so this says Marshall Field & Co EPC 192617 it's got a little dent a couple little dents on the bottom um, I'm guessing it's, it's silver nice plated it, it looks like it's copper underneath because it's got some wear. Someone used this to do a lot of serving on. It's been used a lot. 
So I'm wondering if Tanya dropped that off or Georgiana because Tanya said that she was going to bring me some tarnished um, silver and I didn't have time to talk to her. And then this is like... So this is like $12.95, but this one is a $19.95 -er because it's heavy Bama Well, and it's in really good shape. I don't see any maker's mark on the bottom of it anywhere that I, I can either. see. But it's it's got a good weight to it. I almost feel like it could be like pewter that they silver plated because it's the okay. weight of pewter. I really just like the design and the shape of it. Oh, Caitlin says, also, if you can screenshot what you like while you're watching it, <laughs> <laughs> that helps out. This boy. Yeah, Caitlin, every Monday, Caitlin and I, and I play, what were they talking about in their email? <laughs> it's, it's a very exciting game. <laughs> oh, hello, Pamela from Prescott, Arizona. Oh. How's that? Is that working out? Um, yeah, that's pretty cute. Flowers in my hair. <laughs> so these spring flowers are just a garland. They'll probably sell for like $12.95 in the store. And how much did I pay for them? I think it was a dollar. It's yep, a dollar. A, oh, dollar fifty. And they're dahlias, if I am correct. And they're actually good quality. They don't look cheesy to me. And I love. This it. isn't plastic. This is like a silk or fabrics of yeah. some sort. Yeah. And this is kind of like felted, almost felted plastic. Yeah. So I do love that. Those always look really pretty on mantles or coffee tables or just arrangements when you're setting up a vignette. I love those kinds of flowers. Oh, uh, Hazel says not pewter, it's silver plated. Well, it's silver plated. And then uh, Crescent Moon, Donna says that yes, Seb, and Sandra says you're cute. <laughs> so are you gonna show them how to rip that down? Yep, so this is one of those lamps. You can tell, so if you get a lampshade and you can't feel the metal ridges in there where the support is, don't go tearing it apart because it's probably not going to hold together without the fabric on it. You need the older metal, like not the cheap new ones. So just All right, take while well, he's doing that, I'm going to keep going. So this off. is a white porcelain ironstone dish, I believe. doesn't have a mark on the bottom, so I'm not sure how old. But it does have some cracks and crazing in it. And a couple of like minuscule unimportant chips on this bottom ridge here. I would say that this dish would probably sell for about $14.95 in the store. And it was two dollars. I mostly just love the scalloped edge because see how it, like I've scalloped on my logo right there. <laughs> I like scallops. It's totally my jam. I picked up this cake plate because it also has scallops. Can you guys see on the bottom? Are you gonna show them close? It's got a scalloped cake plate, and I think it's stinking gorgeous. And I'm not a cut glass person, but this one just caught my eye. So this is $4 and we sell it for $19.95 and it's got a good weight. It's maybe it's lead crystal. <laughs> maybe it's, I don't know. So I believe it's Tom Fisher. He's, he lives, I've seen him. He Does goes he know and, about leaded crystal? No, but he takes his, I'm, I'm back on lampshades. Oh, Sorry. Okay. He takes well, his lampshades. Whatever shades, it is, it's 1995. And he puts them in a, uh, like almost like a little burn area, like a fire pit and he burns all the fabric off and then he just like walks away with them once they've cooled off. We live in the city, so I want to leave this part on. Okay, I'll see if um, I can salvage that. We live in the city that. and you can't actually burn while we live, but like I have people with breathing problems in my house, so we don't burn anything. I actually thought about offering my neighbors uh, going to the dump for them so they won't burn, so that way it doesn't irritate my mom's lungs. All right, so this is a cherub mirror. It is vintage. It's resin, but not the plasticky kind. I don't know how to explain it. It's like that. It's really solid. Hard, solid 70s resin. 70s resin. And it was $1.50 at DI, and I will sell it for $19.95, probably with a paint job. Look, there you guys are in the camera. All right, so Jamie wants to leave the fabric on it. I think I've got most of this, like, silk backing off of here. And there's a couple little strings. We'll just cut those off with scissors because they're just, like, the, the stitching from the outside. But there you go. Yeah, I, I love to leave it if it looks good, the wrapping around the top and the bottom because it's very, like, deconstructed chair restoration hardware style. So I do leave those on some of them. All right. Oh, yes, this wood, this cut glass would be perfect for a soap display. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll save it. I don't know. I have some mini soaps in pewter dishes that were donated to us a few weeks ago. So I, have to, I would have to give those up. All right. So I'm kind of obsessed with this. It's a chunky coat rack. I love accordion coat racks. They sell really well, but I have never seen one with ginormous knots. I think that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Yeah, they're like mushrooms. See? <laughs> um, it was $3. It's not probably that old, but I would sell it for $19.95, and I would not paint it. I so if you were to go it. to the store and try to recreate this, you'd probably be about $30 or $40 for knobs and the wood and the screws and the hanging hardware. And the time. 
yeah but it is cool and you could paint it but i'll sell it unpainted so people can do what they want so for 19.95 it's gonna be all kinds of fun all right all right so next oh so i am thinking does anybody else love the false graph the way that i do i've never seen these before i'm thinking of adding them to the website on jamie Marie vintage home because i have a good collection oh a mug rack that would be an amazing mug rack and i have mugs today i found some with cute sayings so these were $1.99 a piece, and I will sell these for $22.95 for the pair. Now this one... Do you one, think they had shades at, at no, some point? No, but this one is missing the... Uh, the sleeve? The, the sleeve. plastic sleeve? So I'm wondering, could you... Oh, they, they... Someone changed this. This is not the original sleeve. What I would do is I would eliminate that, and yeah. that just hides... It, it's not really functional. It just hides the uh, thing. But that looks weird. So what I would do is I would just get, like, a piece of, um, like, cardstock and make our own. We could even stamp it and just wrap it around and glue it. Could you just rewire them so the bulb just sits on the top? No, because then you have to... You, you'd ruin it to rewire them. We'll just sleeve it. We'll just get a little bit of cardstock right, and wrap it around. you're in charge of that. There you go. Here's and make a match. Anyways, twenty two ninety five. They're cute. I actually think I'll even, get to that in two thousand twenty three when I'm done with my. I other actually so honestly, if they were me, I would completely unwire them and just use them as is. Oh, like take the wire yeah, and right out. Yeah, just make them like a candle holder. You know what? You could take that out. I mean, it's got a little hole on the side here, but you could take no, that all the way out pretty easily. I just easily. like them as is. Yeah, it just screws in. But I'm not going to do that because there might be somebody that wants them to collect them, so I'm going to leave them the way yeah, they are. Someone might have a twenty two ninety five for the set dealer choice what you do with them but i think they're cute and you probably actually could uh order new sleeves well and see. these are they have the the wall clickers so. yeah the wall clicker well they, uh, everybody you, i always it always reminds me of my grandma's house because it would like hang down and it would be like stapled to the wall and you could click it clicky, clicky. <laughs> well, or you could have it next to your bed for like a, a reading lamp yeah like we do with our our lamps i have them hooked to those old doors and you just push the button right there Oh, Caitlin says, I'm in a drive through so I'm hanging out in the comments. What are you getting, Caitlin? Are you bringing me some nummy food? She just left my house because my parents are there. So these corbels were a dollar each. They were actually dropped off on our back porch, and I will sell them for probably like $8.95. These are handmade out of oak. Are you sure they're handmade? Oh, yeah, they've yeah. got pencil markings. Yeah. $8.95 sure. each, but these are actually the perfect corbel to embellish with IOD molds and paper clay. So really someone cute. someone put the... Uh, Home Depot sells the covers, so maybe we'll get those. Oh, nice. I didn't even know that. Yeah, these are definitely handmade. Shop project right here. Big Mama Jamma wash thing. Washboard. Washboard, that's it. Six bucks. I actually think it would be really cute painted, although I probably won't paint it. And you could stencil like laundry on here. Yeah, it's been glued and re-glued back together. But... I think, I think if you just like actually just did like a uh, whitewash on there and then you could stencil something cool up here. I just paint white. Okay. All right. And Jamie, y'all, uh, what? And Jamie, talk about my jumpsuit. Oh, this is my new romper. Look up the word romper at jamierayvintagehome.com. And this is our pocket tee. And I am wearing this because it's July 4th and I want to have lots of room for jello and hot dogs and I like to have We're barbecuing glowy. tonight. It's glowy and it has pockets. And if you do have to go to the bathroom, it's not complicated. You just drop it like that. Some rompers, it's like you need a degree to be able to get out of them. Okay, so All I right. think this is a dog bowl, right? Or a dog. So it's $2.99 and these are not original to it. They were $3.99 each. And I'm going to sell the whole set for $24.95. It's like a doggy bowl. I think it's so cute. If you have, or a kitty. That's big for a cat, but yeah. Ma cats could maybe have more than one cat. You know, I had an uncle who had a mountain lion. And that you thing was big. You had an uncle who it was, had a mountain lion? Yeah. It, uh, they Tell took, me about this. They found it. It was down in Pomerine. And I always went to their house in the summer when I was visiting my grandma because they had this huge pecan tree with this I giant. I would going to that house. With this giant uh, tire swing. And I'd go there and they had a mountain lion. It was awesome. It was, it was super tame and nice. Until it wasn't. But it was big. It was like as big as, I don't know, I'd say most border collars. <laughs> oh, my heck. Um, yeah, we will not be getting a mountain lion and carrying on that family tradition. So this Coke bottle costs zero dollars. See how thick the bottom is on it? It's really old. It's from Salt Lake City. We found this at the farmhouse. Um, and the bottom is not only thick, but it's uneven. 
so it's imperfect. I don't know how old it is, but it's a, and it's got like a little bit of iridescence to it. So if you know anything about Coke bottles, let me know what that means. I have no idea what I would sell it for because I have no idea what it's worth. Um, but it is from the farmhouse originally because it's from Salt Lake. From yeah, it says Salt Lake City, Utah. What size am I wearing in the romper? I think this is a medium. They're generously medium sized. Medium is true to size for me. It doesn't say right there. It is a medium. Are you looking down my pants? No. You sure it was there. And we're live. <laughs> All right, so we've got some chicken bookends, roosters with their uh, their tails all fanned out. I thought they were turkeys when Jamie first grabbed them, but no, they're roosters. They're just roosters. This guy lost a little bit of his comb on the front, but we'll, we'll paint, paint them, them and they'll be really cool. I'll paint those tonight, today. They're, I was gonna say tonight, but it's okay. Tonight. We still got sunshine. I already showed them all this. Okay. This one. Big red bucket, because who doesn't need something to put their Christmas tree in? Or it could even go out on your front porch for various holidays with yeah. something planted in it. I was thinking Christmas tree would be perfect. Or again, 4th of July, you could use it as a drink bucket. How much was it? Oh. $3.99? Yeah. That's a it's got $22 dollar bucket all day long here. I love it. It's a little bit chippy. It's got wooden handles. And at the regular store, it would probably cost you more like 30 or 40 So $22.95 at JRB. It's got a little bit of chippy paint on the bottom. It looks like something has been planted in it. Nice. All right, the finial says $21.95. I paid $5 for it and would sell it to you for the low, low price of $12.95 or anybody else that comes to the shop. <laughs> and I'm not going to paint it. it. Just It's just dusty. It's just dusty. All right, this is the cutest thing right here. Hold on. I don't even know. Is that for like a birthday candle? It, I don't know. You could I thought a like American candle, Girl doll set. Oh yeah. It's the little baby candle. I paid 25 cents and I feel like it's worth at least four ninety five because if you ha need a little baby candle, where are you going to get it? They're not out there. They're not out there. You could totally put a birthday candle in it though. So here is the baby candle. 25 cents, four ninety five. All right. Okay. So this was three ninety nine. It came with the, the ball of boxwood. Is that what that is? Yep. And it's not even dusty. I'm not gonna do anything to it, and I'm gonna sell it for nineteen ninety five. It's got chippy paint. It's got green boxwood. You can't even argue with that. All right. Linda says ham. I don't know what that means. All right. I have a couple of gold spaceships over here that are cast iron. Gold spaceships. Look how big they are. They're not spaceships. <laughs> They're heavy. They're heavy. They're I mean, just, they're, I just call them spaceships because they're golden big. They have faces on the bottom. I've been watching too much Star Trek. And I believe these are flowers here. I will paint them because this original and not original paint job on them. And this one, is one of them kind of crooked? They're cast iron. So and, they're imperfect. Yeah, they're, well, they're cast iron. And I think one of them is, they, they unscrew. So I just need to get the screws straight. And oh, I think it might stand okay. a little better. This one's straight, this one. Is, so we'll get these standing straight. And we sell cast iron candlesticks of this size for $49.95. And I bought this for $5.99. We had a set last week and we painted them and sold them. And they sold like that. So these will get painted and I'll have these ready for the stay at home shopping network. And they'll be $49.95 each so painted. I, I think this one is as good as it's going to get. It might just need like a little felt up under the foot oh, here. Yeah, we could do that. And look, you know what I like though, because this does. Yeah, you can it, ship it. I can ship it unscrewed and take this part off the top. Yeah. yeah, they're really cool. I just like the faces. I want to paint them white because I feel like the faces are cool. Um, Stephanie says, wow, those are glorious. Yeah, when I saw these, I was at Savers and I was across the room I've and they were on the very tippy top of the shelf and I like beeline straight for them. And then when I picked them up and I was like, oh, they could also be a weapon. I had to have them. I don't know why every heavy candlestick has to be a I weapon. mean, I've never actually used a candlestick as a weapon, but I'm always thinking like, should crap happen? Am I ready? Are you Am ready? I, I'm a prepper. What home decor can I use in event of self-defense. When the zombies come, will this- For the zombie apocalypse, work? I'm set. All right, so these are not old, but they were fun. And so I bought them because that's how I roll. So this one has got a wavy top, kind of scalloped. They're all $1.49. And this one, I like what it said. And these I'll probably sell for like $9.95. This one says, take time to do what makes your soul happy. And it's got kind of that imperfect wavy pottery look that's really popular. This one says Monday should be optional um, from Burton Burton is the original maker. 
Again, $9.95, it's got that wavy, like, pot pottery look. And then this one is actually not for sale. I'm sending it, does anybody follow Dion from the Turquoise Iris? <laughs> she always wears lipstick, and I know that because I have done vacation with her, I have done boot camp with her, I have shared a king size bed with her. And this is totally Dion. It says, keep calm and put your lipstick on. Because she always says, put your lipstick on. So, this one's going to Mrs. D. And she always has it on. Yep, and so, and she doesn't drink coffee, but she does drink tea. So, Miss Dion is gonna get this because I buy stuff that I like at the thrift store because that's how I roll. <laughs> De we were always thinking like, of you, Debbie's and we got you like, a used tea cup. <laughs> I sent random stuff to her the other day. I sent her a shirt that said something about coffee on, and she's like, thanks for my shirt. I'm like, you're welcome. If you're my friend, I'll mail you weird stuff. Okay. <laughs> These were from somebody I have no idea. They dropped them off. So if you dropped them off, lay claim to them and make sure you get in your, uh, your coupon. All right, so these are just three hooks, great for scrap wood. We, you know, we've been loving the scrap wood Whole projects. Hooks. We'll sell them each for $3.95. So I'll put them up on the website and make a listing for them and people can buy them individually or all three. So $3.95, which They're is a good deal because they make you probably eight or nine dollars at the store. Yeah, okay, so here's more candlesticks. These are less, I mean, if you use these as a weapon, they probably wouldn't be as dramatic. Well, they're resin. So this one was marked four dollars and that was marked two, but they gave them to me each for two dollars a piece. These are lighter though, so you could really get the speed up. <laughs> I just like them because they're really ornate, so painted they'll be really beautiful. I think I'm gonna pull this out because it's falling out anyway. All right. We might glue them back Do I have in. a stencil with a seagull on it? I do not. Not currently. All right, let's You never know what's coming down the pipe, though. Did we? Sh I know. I haven't I, showed them the stools. I, and I designed all my stencils already for fall and winter, and that's not in there. So maybe 2021. All right, so these stools were $8 each, and I like them because they have big, fat seats that dip down. This seat is a good three inches wider than most bar stools, and I love the knobby. I even love the weird light yellow paint job. So I'll give this paint job a light sand, I'll paint them, and then I will stencil a number on the top. We have these really big, like four or five inch numbers. And so I'm gonna stencil a one and a two. And it's just in time because I sold three bar stools this week, so I needed some more. I had, and actually like a few weeks ago, I sold like five bar stools in one day, and I've had a really hard time finding them. So I'm glad that I found those. Okay, this was a porch offering. A German lace plate that says Var so gut. I don't know what that means. Or was war so gut. I don't know. Do you, anybody speak German? Do you know what that says? I don't know what it says. Got a couple a little bowl over here. Milk glass leaf. So these will probably sell for like $5.95 each. And then vintage pirates offering pirates. also $5.95. This is yellow speckled. And it does say Pyrex on the bottom. Donna probably knows what it's actually valued at, but for me, $5.95. Uh, pie plate. Dad probably wishes I would save it and make him a pie, but that's not going to happen. I do love pies. That's not happening. Of all varieties. Either. Pumpkin is favorite, though. Yes. All right. And he likes Costco. Sorry, I'm taking up the whole. So another dog dish. This is an enamel one. It was a dollar. It'll be $5.95. I just thought it was cute. Or a kitty dish. We don't discriminate cats. And then, Lisa loves pie, and Pamela says you can't beat big fat seats. Agreed. There's no argument for me there. We've got some costume jewelry here. Some of this is really cool. Yes, we are doing our thrift haul early, Amanda, because it's the 4th of July, and we decided last minute that we love you, but we also love America. So we're going to go hang out with our kids and light off fireworks. Legal fireworks we're in an area that it's allowed so we, and eat okay. our weight in all beef organic hot dogs so this Christina, is a little frog pin the frog pin is cool i like it a lemon meringue pie would be pretty in that i hope whoever buys it puts it to you so vintage jewelry we sell in our shop anywhere from 3.95 to 5.95 or just pre-owned and people come by all the time. We have a jewelry bar and we just we don't even individually price it. We just have uniform pricing for everything in the jewelry bar. And I would venture to say we sell a couple of pieces every day. And over time, that jewelry bar has been a cash cow. I usually buy jewelry in bulk. Those were given to me, but I'll get like a big old box of it for like 20 bucks. $2.99, little here, vanity here mirror. On the wall, who's the cutest carpenter of them all? Oh, here, we better shine that no, at you No, no, no. You've been doing the trim work. 
So $2.99 for this mirror. We will sell it for probably $22.95 once it's painted. It's really cute and painted. All that detail work is going to pop. So it has the small mirror and the big mirror. I always got a kick out of looking at myself when I was a kid and like making my face do weird things in these. And the, the big, big part, I'm like, uh, unless I'm plucking my eyebrows, I don't want to see that. Thanks. I guess Can't that would come in romper. handy for plucking the eyebrows. <laughs> I would just love it if you would slightly trim your eyebrows because they're slightly excessive. I can't. They're sun bleached right now. I can't go cutting that off. They're like, they're so long. They get I don't have eyelashes. regular hair, so I have to sun bleach my eyebrows. And your facial hair. All right, let's show them the rest <laughs> of the lamps and the bottles over here. So these were donated. I don't know who brought them. They're really cute. This one's a, like a cut glass style. We'll put one of those fun lampshades and an Edison bulb in it. This won't get painted. We always have fun lamps. So, and that'll sell for about like $30 in the store. Okay, this one is my favorite that got dropped off. Check that out. It's like It looks like an old lamp. And it even has a place down here on the bottom where you can fake put your, uh, your kerosene in there. Your oil. Oh no, I, I unscrewed it and now it's loose. <laughs> We'll just leave it as is with a uh, lampshade. Okay, I got it figured out now. Sweet. If you add do skeleton lampshades, they always you always want to use an Edison bulb because the light is very dim and isn't gonna like shine in people's eyes. The whole reason people use lampshades is so the light doesn't shine in your eyes. So make sure you're using Edison bulbs, not incandescents or LEDs that are like. <laughs> yeah, the Edison bulbs are nice. They give off a nice ambient light, and it's they're fun to just kind of check out. Plus, right. you can see they're not so bright that you can't even see like the filament. Hey, these lamp we have quite a few lamps to right. get through here. Okay. This one is cute. Does well, there goes that light bulb. Don't carry it by the lamp shade. Let me see if I can get that out. Did you cut yourself? Don't don't put gloves on. No, I didn't cut myself. Well, that uh, lamp shade's gonna cost more than your finger. Like if I have to take it to the ER. What? I'd have to almost cut my finger off for you to take me to the ER. Anyways, this lamp will be $22 I mean, these painted hands... with the little lampshade, and I think it's stinking cute. I've been working at the farmhouse, and we were in church, but like trying to keep Jack entertained. I'm like, Jack, count all the little sk scratches and, and slivers and owies on my hand. He counted 15. <laughs> cute little... Uh, Jars, this is an Atlas one. These sell for about $9.95. This one doesn't have anything on it, so this is going to go in my random old bottles. I, if you go on the website for $3.95, you can take your luck at which random old bottle we're going to ship to you. Oh, um, this one would be yet? like four ninety. Oh, this would be like four ninety five. This is a nineteen ninety five or we always sell these on the website, old canning jars. Here's another old ball jar. No ball jokes, guys. No old ball jokes. Give me that blue ball jar. That one, I may have oh. to turn a little base. I think this is from Sue. Like, it's kind of green glass. You put little flowers in it, and then Zeb has to turn a base that it sits in. But this came from Sue. It's really cute. That would sell for probably just as is, just this piece. Probably like $6.95. And we got All a right. couple of these. A green ball jar. This one's cute. This is a repop, so like $5.95. And these I purchased, okay? So I do not love, and I'm sorry if this takes away from the authenticity, but it's not an oil lamp anyways. I don't love this part. But I do love the scallops on this, and I love the turned base. And I love this part here. So this will all get painted white and distressed, and then it'll just have a lampshade on it like this, and I think it's going to look very farmhouse. I love, love, love the turn base. They were $4.99 each. They'll sell for $39.95 once I'm done painting them. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, we have a bunch of mirrors over here. And I also love that the lampshade looks like glass, but it's plastic. Here, they well, are vintage because of the uh, way oh. that you can see the plug, but they're not so old that they didn't have plastic. So while I'm getting set up to show them the mirrors oh, over here, you can show them your, the cabbage patch kids. your Cabbage Patch Kids find. So these Cabbage Patch Kids I bought at Savers. They were $14.99 each. They are, I don't know really the value of these particular ones, but we'll sell them for $59.95, and they are porcelain. So these are the porcelain ones, and they are true Cabbage Patch. You can see the signature on her little bum cheek there. There's a couple of sets. There's the, these two are shorter, both porcelain, but and this one doesn't have a stand. This one is really cute. These are like, cheerleaders. 
It looks like the moth kind of got This one has jacket. a little bit of moth damage to the jacket and she's missing her pom-poms, but they, other than that, they're in really great condition. And the reason I bought them is because I have a porcelain doll from my grandma that's Cabbage Patch that I love. And these are really cute. So I have no idea what they're worth, but $49.95 is what I'll sell them for. And they were $14.99 each. So they're really cute. I love the little poodle on the skirt. Look at that detail. And they, even the dimples in the legs and the little saddle oxford. All right. Well, you guys are going to get to see the underside right. of the table with the trash can. And Zeb's going to some... show you mirrors. I'm going to very carefully put this aside. So this mirror here was $14.99. Jamie loves these style mirrors because you can, uh, you can make sure that you've got all the things on in the right place and nothing's out of, out of whack. All right, hold on, Deb. I'm going to carefully, I need to move these out of here. Okay, carefully go. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Watch out. We got some stuff on the floor to show you still. Oh, they can see my full romper. Yeah, there's the whole thing. All right, so this was $14.99. How much do you sell these mirrors for, Jamie? These ones on the stands. Oh, these full length mirrors. $99.95. $99.95 when we get it painted and done up. And then we have this mirror here. That one's really cool. Kind of a unique shape on that and then the gold and everything is really good we'll repaint it probably a white, white color it's not super old and i love the bevel um it was originally from goodwill for 12.99 and they'll sell for probably like 59.95 if i list it online it'll be 89.95 but that's just because when we ship them they require lots and lots of packing you want to unwrap it takes that longer one. to pack them to ship than it does uh maybe wrapped well you might have to take that rope off of it can we just show them a sneak peek I oh think it's the same, it's the same thing. mirror oh, we have two of twinners them. matching mirrors oh. um, and these we've already shown these are just okay. some shutters these will sell for $19.95 each these are really cute to pair with antique windows um, let's see yeah. I have this stuff oh, over we here we also have this stuff under here that yep I'm going to show them right now all right we're almost done. I love this window because the size is really not like cute and not normal. Like you can't find them this size. Glass is in good shape. This mirror will be $24.95 in the shop. Again, if we list it online, it would probably be more like $39.95 because it does take a lot of effort. Christy, my shipping manager for home decor, can let you know that shipping glass is no joke. And then you got this, I was surprised because you usually don't go for etched glass with swans and what's the plan for this? Oh, so I'm going to try to get this off of here, Oh. but I don't know if it's etched or if it's just the spray frost. It looks like it's etched. No, I don't know. I don't oh. have a sound. Nope, it's not etched. So I think acetone will take it off. If it doesn't, I will just paint the mirror and make it look cool with molds. And then I just really love that it had these hooks. It was $4.99. And I'll sell this for about $59.95 because it's going to take quite a bit of work to make it cool. And somebody asked about these lamps. These lamps will be $39.95 each or $69.95 if I sell the pair. I always give a deal if I sell two. All right, what else do we got? Is that everything? Um, I think that's everything to show. What are, what are you painting? Um, Let me paint. We were going to paint the chickens. Yeah. You know what? I want to do a cute little IOD transfer on this this window. All right. Because I haven't done an IOD transfer in a while. Hang on, um, and me... then let's clear some space here. We'll get started doing some fun painting. Let's see. I... Has anyone used Jamie's feather stencils? Tracy, I don't know. I have seen a few people use them, but I have not used them yet. Is that bad that I have so many stencils I haven't used them all? Oh, Zeb, I can paint this mirror. So I think I'm going to go faded burlap on the chickens okay. and then maybe do like a wax or something. Like a dark those. wax? Yeah, because okay. they're kind of a maroon color and that coming through I think would be good with the faded right, burlap. I'm going to put these where they will be safe, All right. away from me. Probably away good. from you. Um, and I'm going to go get some paint for that. You get started on these so that way nobody's left alone. Hold you guys are new to our channel. Yeah, Once wait. we show the junk, then we paint the junk. All right. Can you just get me something to paint these two with and then maybe uh, a transfer? What are you thinking on that? Um, I don't know, like farm freshy. Farm freshy. Or weathered wood. Let's see. I have the same lamps. Christina, I can't wait to see what you do with our yours. I'm gonna paint mine white. I know you're shocked. Um uh, farm fresh looks like we're out. We got Okay, pick a color, I don't care, whatever you want. Yeah, the trouble is you you want all Yes, these... Melanie, the Flochlorico stencil is still at jamierayvintage.com, so you can pick that up there, and that's a really popular one. We sell a lot of the those. The trouble is all the colors that you want were out of because you used them. 
All right, I will I will swap you. How about you come sit down? And I'm gonna I will come paint. Find you. you come paint. I will find something to paint. All right, I'm coming back, guys. Don't be nervous. You know, our chickens, we, I don't know what's going on with them. They're, they're like flighty teenagers right now. They, uh, unless you have something to feed them, they don't want anything to do with you. They used to be pretty friendly, and now that they're getting older, they're getting, they're getting a little jumpy. So we're going to have to spend some time hanging out with them and feeding them and just being near them. Although Jack can go up, and they, they all love Jack. Well, who doesn't love Jack? Jack, my dad? No. Or little Jack? Little Jack. Little, who doesn't love them some little Jack? Yep. I, I need white wax. I, can, I think they can just sense that he's their buddy and he's going to give them all the good stuff all the time. Half of the dinner? Well, he spent, he went over there last night with me and we have some apples falling off the apple tree because um, they're, they're still pretty ripe, but some of them have like some, some worms or little bugs in them because we didn't spray the tree and those ones are falling off and they're softer and they're more ripe and the chickens have been loving those so he gathered up a bunch of those and was mushing them so they could eat them good he he had a good time doing that all right so faded burlap i've just got the little frenchy is the paint pixie brush i'm using and just going to go on all these details it's gonna... Ooh, jamie's dropping stuff it's going to go really well for all these little cracks and details because check out how detailed this is like the feathers are really well done i'm going to use the little sampler guys because guess what they're back in stock the diy sampler brush has been out of stock forever and there we go so all the paint is all natural that's why we can use it inside and you can get it at jamierayvintage.com and we also have clothes and home decor at jamierayvintagehome.com i like to tell people because we get asked all right those roosters look like game cocks. Yeah, they, they've got the big fanned tail feathers. I think they did that because they're bookends and so to hold the book up good, you know? But I need your muscle. Need some help? Yeah, there's already paint on this. I don't know why you're Oh, because I didn't You I didn't know. know. Alright, I have I like painting on the hard hair. surface of the table. So this is the sampler brush and it fits down in a sampler jar. I'm gonna paint this one white, I think. So faded burlap is kind of a taupey color, taupey? but yeah, taupe. Taupe. It's taupe-ish, but I feel like it's got kind of, if you see it in the right light, it's got like undertones of like a little purple hue, almost like a really, really soft lavender. Got it. But that's just me. That could be the way I see things. No, I do see it like in the right, like it would be really pretty if you matched it with French millinery. Oh yeah. Cause that's a very light, yeah, kind very of light grayish subtle purple. purple subtle like it's it. muted muted all right i'm gonna move some stuff that we, we should have cleaned this off better well you said you're not worrying about the. well i want people to be able to see what i'm doing <laughs> oh okay i don't know can you guys even oh, see oh deb says not to iod the window fine deb she wants to buy it i will not do it you're lucky you caught me all right i'm just gonna put this up on the paint can there I love to paint gold things white because then when you wet distress it and the gold comes through, it looks super good. I'm going to move that in a little closer so you guys can see. I don't know what Michelle is talking about. Some of the paint effects I do not hate, but the proportions were off and I can't fix that. I don't know what she's talking about. Sounds like she painted something. Oh, I had a lamp and I painted all of it. I'm going to give it back to the thrift store because I don't think... They will want it. It's a mess. You know what? Why don't you try painting it like a different color? I don't know. Sometimes I don't like the way something looks and I just have to like step away from it for a little bit. And then I look at it again and then it tells me what to do to fix it. She's and like, sometimes I just drop it off at the thrift store because I just can't look at it anymore. No shame in that game. <laughs> She's like, all right, you know, we gave this a, a good try and I just, I can't anymore. Yeah. And then you can, you can pretend like it never happened. Just getting all the paint down here. All right. Do I have a habitat for humanities? Yes, we have purchased toilets and we have purchased We're gonna sinks. get all of our toilets from there because yeah. they're like a third the cost 
and you know a toilet a third it's like a tenth of the cost a you toilet, get one for like six bucks you scrub them down with some bleach and you know after the first time you use them There's they may as well be used <laughs> hold on let me put that over there like what is behind me oh you painted the part that holds the light bulb and the harp i do that too sometimes if i don't like the color of what holds the light bulb i'll totally paint it like this is like a turntable only it's just a quarter paint all right i also paint okay let's see so what are you going to do with the glass lamp are you going to paint it no the glass one probably although i mean i guess i could it probably would look better if i painted it i don't know so i imagine since the people watching now probably aren't out at the lake playing but if you're watching the replay hopefully you guys are all being safe and having fun on the fourth and having some Wear amazing sunblock. barbecues yeah sunblock and alcohol it's and like, too much sun don't mix it's like the hot, hottest time of the year and eliza went swimming at the lake with she her friend yesterday crispy. and she missed a couple spots on her sunscreen and there's no coming back from it like she's way burned <laughs> i know we've been putting aloe on it i'm gonna put some lavender and coconut oil on it okay i'm almost done there my mom used to put vinegar on my burns and it does take the heat out but it also really stinks and i feel like she did it just to remind me not to get burned again like you're gonna stink <laughs> like vinegar so you better wear sunblock your mom embraces all of the old remedies hey you know what she's 81 years old and she's done a thing or two and she knows a thing or two oh yeah <laughs> my parents are in town for a few months we're gonna be doing some doctor's visits and my dad's gonna be telling zeb what to do you know i wish i'd have had him here about three months ago because he was giving me a bunch of tips and things just you know he, he was a contractor for 30 plus years in california and he just knows how to do stuff just that i'm not even thinking about because I've built a bunch of stuff, but I've never built a whole house on my own, you well, know? I believe he was an electrical contractor before I was born, but when I was a little girl, he was a general. But yesterday he was giving, he's like, you should have done it like this. I'm like, well, where were you three months ago when I was framing this? It started framing this out. Or I guess it hasn't been quite three months. But... What colors am I using? So I'm using white swan and Zeb is using faded burlap. And faded I'm burlap. I'm about to bust out some apothecary situation. Although I wish I had that brush. Maybe. Um, there's another, there's a, uh, here, hold on, I got it. There was another, oh, one, another one over there? I think so. Okay. Oh, oh Yumiko got her tent. soaps today and her guest bath smells good. I love all the little baby soaps. I've been putting them in my drawers at the house. And even though I don't clean, it smells like I do because my house smells good. I feel like someone used this with some oil wax. It's a little oily, but it should hold your paint. Oh, they, Barbara says they have a lot of, um, windows low priced at their habitat store our habitat store does not have windows low priced because they those kind of like antique windows sell for quite a bit here all right yeah. so i'm just going to paint this um apothecary and white wax it now here's the thing if you get the paint on the glass it comes off really easily i just use windex um, and a scraper the longer you let it sit on your glass the harder it is to get off so if you've got paint on your mirror don't worry about it just it'll come right off this is gonna be so cute. Let me flip that around, paint the top. I feel like painting this more of a muted color has really toned back the, uh, the, the flare in the tail feathers. The, the, what did they call those? Oh, Gamecocks. Gamecocks, what is a Gamecock? They're basically for fighting. Oh yeah, no, not, there will be no fighting chickens around here. They're now happy farmhouse chickens that love to just peruse around and eat the scraps that Jack leaves for them. As our chickens get older, they usually wind up eating a lot of table scraps. <laughs> or as we clean out the pantry, they get all the stale cereal. I'm sure it's very, very healthy for them. Paint out that. This is a lot of moving parts here. I always pick the like hard stuff to paint. I watch the replay on Sunday morning. Oh, well, now you get to watch us live. Or if you're coming late to the show, you can still watch the yeah. replay tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We showed all the good things. We're going to be barbecuing tonight and lighting off fireworks. And we were going to film it as a premiere and just put it up at our normal time. But we were going to be uh, busy, so we wouldn't have been around for the live chat. So we're like, you know, let's just go live. We got it all set up. Let's just do it. Well, the live chat is like my favorite part about these. I love to see what people say. And it's just not the same. It's just not the same. So. So we'll be back to regular time next week. It's just because today is the 4th of July.
because it's the 4th of July. All right, cute, cute, cute. I'm gonna paint this other side. I'm telling myself that my stuff is cute. It's called positive paint talk. <laughs> All right, where'd I put that other one? I'm gonna heat gun these real quick. Yeah, I think I it's right below already. us I was actually here. gonna grab it. Right, you can do yours first. That's not plugged in. Oh, Crescent Moon ordered the romper. Donna and I are going to be romper twins. And Donna, we are looking into those tank tops. I think they all may be that way, so we may just give you a discount or you can mail it back. So, don't worry, girl, I got you. Um, oh, JL, love the farmhouse update. If you guys have not watched it, we have a farmhouse video that just went up yesterday. We did a tour of the framed upstairs, and we finished up our ship lap. And we put a, two new sconces in the dining room. And finished framing out the, one of the windows in I the I kind of want them to build a new dining room table now. But it's, he doesn't have time. We're going to use the one we have for a little bit. And then I'm going to build, we'll sit out and we'll okay. have like a little design session. And then I'll build you a good one. I mean, the other one's really good still. But I'm partial to the other one because it's milled cottonwood that I milled with my dad. I'll, and the cottonwood is cottonwood that I cut down in my cousin's house. <laughs> the mirror does magnify. It's really cool. It's got a magnified side and a regular side. It's going to get all kinds of Jamie Ray in here. Let's see. The new sconces are amazing. Thanks, Jessica. So the sconces, we don't carry that exact model. The mirror is a little they, different. But we found the other one that's the same style with that vendor because they no longer carry ours. And we have that up on the website. So we could be almost twinish. Almost. But the one that's up there is really close and it looks really good too. I did order more of matching ones to ours, but I don't know if they're coming. Because sometimes you order things and then they don't come. So I have to wait and see. Let's see. I'm coming from Debbie's channel. Hello from California. Hello! Was Debbie live today, or were you just watching her video from yesterday? I don't know. Did she go live today? Did we go live right on? No, because she normally goes live in the afternoon. Wash your hands with soap and water. Get all the hand sanitizer off before the fire works. You don't want to light your hands on fire. That's a smart tip. We actually don't use a lot of hand sanitizer. We just use soap and water. We only use hand sanitizer when we're out. And I bought, today I bought um, some glow sticks but i bought them used i got a whole bag of glow sticks at the thrift store for 3.99 the kids are going to be super excited they like to use those and i got eliza i didn't bring it with me but i got her earring holder and odelia i bought her some jeans and zeb got himself some new shorts to wear i got in. like i got like nine pairs of shorts <laughs> all my shorts have like paint on them i've just been working like 14 hour days forever now at our house since the farmhouse this spring <laughs> sometimes you buy stuff new Sometimes you buy stuff you use, Tonza. Yeah, well, and you know, I'm just going to be working in them. Actually, some of them are really nice. Like, I got some American Eagle shorts and some O'Neill shorts. and. But his shirt is from Jamie Ray Vintage Home, and I made him wear it because right before we went live, he was super grumpy pants, and I was like, here, wear this shirt. Show him what it says. <laughs> oh, uh, she's like, wear this one. I'm like, yeah, that's appropriate. Yeah, Zeb admitted <laughs> that he was grumpy. He put it's, a smiling face on before he went on camera. But it's lunchtime and, and we haven't eaten believe. yet. <laughs> All right, I just needed a coat on the back. I was going to do maybe some colored wax on this. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do like a dark or uh, or like a white wax. But Aww. I think the white wax will disappear on the faded burlap. You won't really notice it. And I think a dark wax, if I just distress this, it'll just bring that contrast from the original maroon color back. So I so, think I'm just going to wet distress. So I was thinking wet distress, then white wax, because the white wax will pop with the dark undertones. Well, we'll see. We'll find out. Deb said something really sweet, and I wanted to read it. She said, I love your life so much, so fun, and you have cheered me up today. That is awesome. That is why, even though it's the 4th of July, we are live, because we want to be able to connect with people. It's the best part of our job. It is the best part. Also buying junk, junk for a living isn't too shabby. <laughs> and clothes. I do enjoy the shopping, but that's only second best to the people. The people are the best part. Well, every time I walk into a thrift store, I feel like a treasure hunter. I know. I'm like, what am I going to find under this pile of stuff that no one else has bought, but maybe I will find value in it. When I found those Cabbage Patch kids today, I was like a little kid. I was like, oh, those are so cute. 
I love them so much. And if nobody buys them, it's still cool because we will just enjoy them at our house. Eliza will enjoy them. All right. So just in case you're new to the channel, we're just heat gunning these so that we can get them dry and finish them while we're still live. Normally we would just let them sit and dry on their own. Um, Eclectic by Terry Lou says she loves our stencils. She bought them from Debbie because she lives in California. Nice. Debbie is one of our retailers. We actually have a lot. So if you go to jrvwholesale.com, you can find out A, how to become a retailer, or you can see our retailer map and see if there's somebody near you. And if there isn't anybody near you, you can order them at jamierayvintage.com. Uh, I should have. Oh no, Jana says I burned my thumb by lighting two sparklers attached together by the sulfur. Oh. Third degree burn. Be careful. We always keep water and a hose and ice water very, very handy. We always are careful. Zeb, I'm not a big fan of sparklers. Someone yeah, always they gets always burned. make me nervous. I probably actually won't buy them. Sparklers make me nervous with kids, but somebody's gonna like poke somebody else. So. All right, I'm looking for a rag real quick for the wet distress. And oh, I'll that right would be back. great. Would you grab me one too, sweetie? Yeah. Thank you. All right, I think I've got this pretty well painted because I'm going to wet distress it. This is going to be cute. I'm so excited. Jody says, be careful with the cheap glow sticks. They can snap and get on your clothes. Yes, and they can also get on your flooring, so do them outside. My boys, it's summertime, so everything they wear is um, on its way out. So if they get it on their clothes, it's no big deal. If anybody sees my boys, they'll be like, yep, they dress themselves. Jack has been known to wear pajamas a whole week. I'm cool with that. Part of being a kid is wearing what you want. Well, Jack usually switches the pajamas up. He just never changes Yeah, they're out never matching. They're never matching pajamas. Oh, hi from Australia at 6 a.m. on Sunday. Ooh, early in the morning. Hopefully you're going to eat something nummy for breakfast. We're going to have, are we going to do pancakes or are we going to do crepes? What do you want to do tomorrow? Tomorrow is first Sunday of the oh, month. Oh, it's fast Sunday. Fast there Sunday. won't be any breakfast. Every one Sunday every month we fast for two meals and then we take that money and donate it to our church and they donate it to um, people in need. So I forgot about that. Maybe we should have it for lunch. Pancakes for lunch. You know, I love doing breakfast foods all times of the day. I'm not offended by that. And breakfast foods are kind of my specialty, so. I am happy about it because it's like the one thing that you will make. Breakfast foods and steak. Breakfast foods, yeah, I was just gonna say, I'd, I'd like to cook steak too. And I mean, make a mean lemon chicken, but that's about it. Oh, cute Odelia. Odelia's there promoting the clothes and the home decor. If you guys didn't know, Odelia Ray on here is our oldest daughter. She is about to be 15. She's excited because she's going to learn how to her drive. Her permit. She wants, I'm, look, I'm on the lookout for an inexpensive golf cart because you don't have to be, I believe, you don't have to have a driver's license. And I think that'd be a fun way to kind of teach her the basics of driving. Well, we're close enough. She, she could take it to school. She could drive it to school. Because <laughs> she could just take the, all the... You're like, here, you drive yourself to school. And by the way, drop the other kids off on your way. Yeah, take the kids to the elementary <laughs> school two blocks away and then take yourself to school. So we're, we're looking for a golf cart. Right, I'll show you guys up close. I honestly, I think I'm just going to leave these as is. They have a really good aged effect going, bringing that maroon color back through. And I feel like the faded burlap was the perfect color. I don't often win on the color choosing, but I feel like I'm winning today. Oh, Crazy Chick Vintage said, just order the romper and the cute ruffle black dress. So Crazy Chick Vintage, I, there we do have a new ruffle dress, but it's little girls. Maybe it's a different ruffle dress that I forgot that I bought. But if you bought the little girls dress and you didn't mean to buy the little girls dress, we'll refund you. But I am excited that you got the romper because I'm telling you, rompers that do not have waistbands on them are the best nothing to restrict you from eating all the things this probably feels like wearing a huge shirt jessica i wish that it came in an xl too i try as often as i can to get bigger sizes but i am looking into getting some more rompers because i didn't used to like them but i'm obsessed with the style so if i can find you some i will yeah we always barbecue and do big fireworks that's always really safe we have the hose handy and we make sure they're all the the legal fireworks. All right, so we've got this wet distress. Would you mind? 
You know, in in uh, 13 years don't of lighting off fireworks, don't. I've never had an issue. Knock on wood, don't say that. No. Always. Zeb it's, is very safe. It's not by things. accident. Yeah, Zeb is good. <laughs> All right. It's not by accident oh. that we have not had any accidents. <laughs> Got to follow the rules, man. The people that don't follow the rules make it bad for everybody else. All right. Okay, let me. I missed a few spots here. Okay. Okay, this is ready for wet distress once we heat bend this cute. This is really cute. All right, I'm going to wait to wax these until this paint's a little more cured. I think I'm just going to go clear wax. But I'll wait and let the replay Those people are comment. Those so cute, Zeb. You did a good job. I'll wait and let the replay people comment so that we won't wax this until Monday. So if you're watching, weigh in, white wax, or just leave them. I think with the dark coming through, just leave them. They almost look like they're made out of cement now. Yeah, they look... They look like concrete. Better. I like them. Those are cute bookends. Bookends always sell very, very fast. Oh, that's funny. The heat gun turned the price tag black. So that one that had the broken comb, you can't even, it's not right. even really noticeable. Anymore. I need a little, uh, little stencil brush because I'm going to wax that, but I don't want to use a big brush. Okay. Do you have some fun books that we could try putting in between here? Uh -huh. I want to see what it would look like. You could go grab some. I think there's some out in the front room. I don't okay, have any back front. here. Yeah. All right. Jamie, you can paint laminate. Yeah, I have painted laminate. If, it, if you're worried about it, you can use the DIY salvation solution. That's really great for primer. Um, but if it's just home decor, I just paint it because it's not going to get a lot of abuse or scrubbing. Cheryl says, I look cute. Thank you. I feel cute. <laughs> I feel cute because rompers just are reminiscent of like back when you used to wear onesies. I, can, I can't get this. I'm gonna, eventually I'm going to figure out how to get this lid off. I probably should use a flathead screwdriver. The new can of white wax. Zeb. I won! Okay, so I'm going to be using our stencil brush because when you're doing home decor, you don't want to use like a ginormous stencil brush because then you're going to waste a ton of wax. It's going to go all over the place. So the JRV stencil brushes that we carry Save you money with wax, and then you only get it where you actually want it. So perfect for detail waxing. You could clear wax this first before you white wax it, but I want it heavy white wax, so I'm going to just go straight with the white wax. I gotta get this dried off enough I can move it. Well, that just needs to be wet and stressed. Okay, I found some some books. I'm gonna put them up here in a sec. This wax also seals it, so there's no need to like add an extra coat of sealer. Right, I think I got it everywhere. Did I miss anything? I need something to wipe the rag off. Wipe it off. But I'll just use this tablecloth. Oh, is that clean? Yeah. It's got a little bit of uh, faded burlap on it. That's all right. Oh, you just wipe the wax off. I need to wash this tablecloth anyway, so it's fine. I'm just rubbing it back. Is that the one you burned with the heat gun? This this tablecloth? Mm -hmm. I don't know. This tablecloth has been abused a lot. It's a good thing we got it on sale. All Oops, right. I'm moving the comments. I can't sell anything painted with apothecary. That's hilarious because that is like so like the next to white swan. This is like my number one. If I paint something apothecary, it sells super fast. All right. Bookends complete with old books. There we go. I'm almost done here. Do we have a, I want to show them how easy it is to clean the glass. The glass. Yeah. Would you grab oh. me a paper towel and some Windex? Yeah. And there's a little teeny razor blade next to the duct tape over there. All right, I'm gonna show you guys this up close so you can see how cute this is. All right, so there's the white wax in all the detail. Makes everything pop, very French country. You know, you could use a buffer or a lint-free rag or your tablecloth. Okay. Bruce 
boosters for bookends with cookbooks. That would be cute. Missed a part. Did Deb, Zeb use dark wax? No, he didn't use dark wax. It was dark underneath, so he just went distressed and ended. All the dark stopped. And then is the ruffle hem dress little girls? Yes, it is. I believe so. I'm going to double check, Caitlin. I, the, the listing probably should have said it, but I don't know if it did. Okay, Christy put that one on there. We have a couple of little girls' dresses. All right, so I even, I got you the little plastic scraper. Oh, okay. Which works great. And then some Windex and... Just put some Windex on it. The plastic scraper, I don't know if it's going to take the price tag off. So I'm just cleaning this up here because I, I couldn't... Should. I couldn't take the mirror out and I could have taped it off, but that would have taken rough, took roughly like 12 years. So I'm just hitting all the details on this gold mirror that Jamie painted. It was just gold resin. It wasn't leafing or anything that I can tell. No, it was definitely not gold leafing. If it was, it just got painted. All right. Oh, Caitlin says, let her know after the live. I will totally do that. I'm gonna, I will double check since I'm here at the shop. Oh shoot, I'm smearing it. You gotta be careful not to smear the wax. <laughs> well, I said it was easy and then I made it hard. Okay, once, once you got it clean, you gotta not get the wax on the mirror. I know, it's like very <laughs> delicate surgery I'm doing here. Well, actually, what you do is you wait till the wax cures. Yeah, normally, okay. just no, wait, and you'll fight it a lot less. It's much cleaner. Look at that. So this is what it looked like before, and that's what it looked like after I cleaned it. Boom, baby. Done. I love this mirror. It turned out super cute, and I love those bookends. Jean Marie says, it doesn't look like a little girl dress to me. No, I'm just going to do it. I got to look. Is it on the floor, Jean Marie? All right, I'll just keep uh, wet distressing this. Keep my while I go investigate the situation. Crazy chick vintage. I'm going to be so sad. Did I miss something while I was looking for stuff? Huh. Oh, it's not. No, no, no. It's totally adult. You know what the thing is, Seb? It's adult. Oh, I is she talking little, about the dress? I bought a similar dress in the little girl sizes, but it's not up on the website yet. I just remembered that Christy hasn't put it up yet. It's an adult one, and it's super cute. And it's 1895 free shipping ruffle hem dress. Phew! Oh, she was going to be sad about Yay! the dress, I think. I am You know, I, I think I need this. Caitlin, can you take a small out of stock if we haven't sold out on them? That's really cute. All right. I'm, put, I'm, I'm going back now. I need... The good news is we will have a similar dress for little girls coming up next week because it just came in. I thought, because in the listing it says little girls, the one that Christy's going to put up, I'm like, I knew she would Did you tell them about your mom coming and going shopping oh at the gosh, shop? Yeah, hold on. She'll tell you in a minute. But I was talking to, they came over to get dad from helping me over at the, uh, the house because he was, he was ready to go home. And I was like, did you get any shopping in? She's like, yes, but I got tired. So I'm going to have to go back. I have about 15 more outfits I want to get. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Caitlin took the small out of stock for me. It was the last one. You're the best. So my mom has been quarantined because of the situation because she's 81. She has COPD and she has not gone shopping in months. And she's an avid shopper. So the day after she got here, I told her to go in the boutique and she could have anything she wanted. Just whatever you want. And she was like, if you, I've never seen the movie, but I've heard about it. Pretty Woman, when Richard Gere takes her to the boutique and lets her buy what she wants, that was my mom. She was so excited. And she got a whole box full of stuff. And I said, Mom, you can have anything you want. She's like, I'm tired. I'm going to have to come back and shop in a few weeks. <laughs> and so stay tuned because next week I'm going to be doing a little fashion photo shoot with her. Um, so you guys can see all of the cute clothes on my mom. Because she is this cute little lady. She probably weighs a buck 15, all soaking wet, and she's really fashionable. And she was super excited about a lot of stuff. And that things like that make me happy because my mom is a super good mom and still always taking really good care of me. So it's fun that I got to do that with her. All right, I need a little bit of your Windex. Uh, crazy chick, it wasn't your small because it automatically took yours out of stock. So don't worry, you will get your dress. 
All right, I'm almost ready to show you this mirror, and then I think we're done. We've been yeah. on for like. Jean Marie ooh, says she was so cute. Minutes. Yeah, Jean and her daughter Camry were here, and they're like, "Your mom's so cute." I'm like I know, she is. Um, Susan says, "How precious!" Just about our 81 year old parents who live next door. It is. My parents are awesome, and we are super excited. My kids are excited to have them here. They are probably my parents are probably about tired with the. Uh, Jack coming in every three seconds, but he's been helping my dad do stuff and he likes to do that. Crazy Chick says, Phew, thanks. No, Crazy Chick, I never take your dress. I just order more if I have to. Yeah, those dresses are $18.95 with free shipping. And the reason why they're so inexpensive is because I'm really good at wholesale shopping. <laughs> Jamie's been finding the sweet deep discounts. I have been like searching far and wide for the deep discount so that way I could offer some lower price things on the website. So. I have a, we have a lot of things priced at $18.95. Some things are more because they are just what they are, but I've been working really hard at good discount shopping. <laughs> All right, so this mirror will have to get another wipe down once everything's dry. I'm gonna have to wax it too, but there's kind of the little cherub on top and the detail down below. It's not very big. I think it would look really good, like beside like a small dresser or something With like that. With perfume bottles on it. Oh, there you go. I don't go. have perfume. I do have the roller because we carry a Lux perfume. But I don't, that's about as fancy as I get. But some women have uh, perfume collections and that would be Darling on there. Good job. So we got roosters. On the roosters. And then the little, uh, the apothecary mirror with white wax. Yeah, that turned out really cute. So if there's anything you saw that you want, you can email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. Caitlin can get you pricing and shipping. If I told you what the price is, if you can include that in your email with a screenshot of the item, even better. And then whatever doesn't sell before next Thursday will be up for the Stay at Home Shopping Network. So be sure to check that out. Mark your calendars next Thursday, 4 p.m. ish. Um, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Boom, baby. Have also, a great fourth. Zeb shirts at jamierayvintagehome.com. So if you want to twin with Zeb and be a pit, ray of pitch black, go right on ahead. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a happy and safe 4th of July. And if you're in another country, enjoy the 5th of July. It'll be just as awesome.